Welcome back to Barbarology Tube, guys. Hopefully you're watching this at home because you want to know how to keep on top of it using a few little techniques, very easy. Watch this. He's been in the barber shop already. He's had that Barbarology experience. Always make sure that you comb the hair into a shape that you're after. Going with the natural flow of the hair, all you can feel is the hair sticking out. So that's what we're going to be removing. Also, we're going to be cleaning around the lip area. This is going to be a clipper only video. With the big clippers, same as the little ones, they've all got these certain attachments. Each one of them is numbered. So number one, that's closed. And we're going to be going with the hair grain. Very light strokes around the jaw beveled the hair out and taken off all the bulk that we don't need. It's very easy, but it's safe. So just follow the lines that you've naturally got. That's a 0 0.5 now. And just remember, it doesn't have to be exact to what I'm using. But as you can see there, when we started, there was a big bulky line. I'm just taking out bits and pieces. to made the beard look a bit untidy. When the head's up in the natural position, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Just gonna go around the lips, just follow the natural line of the lip. Again, very carefully. If you get a comb, and if anything that's sticking out then is that the hairs that you don't want to tidy up if there's any stragglers. We've got the lips done, we've got the underneath done. As you can see, just here, this is sticking out compared to this going in. So what we're going to do is just very carefully, especially if you're doing this on yourself, take that hair off that's sticking out because it naturally wants to go out anyway. As you can see, I haven't took any bulk out, so I've just taken the hairs out that want to stick out. Just remember, we've already been to the barber shop, already created these perfect lines, and we're just topping it up and making sure it looks good in the next days until your next visit. Just going to move your head around. Get your comb as well, so if you're doing it yourself, you'll probably come in from that side there. You're naturally going to take it shorter there and then going longer. Again, use the comb to protect the hair that you don't want to cut off. And you see, see that comb? It's tight to here and it's going out. What that does is creates this kind of sharp look where it goes from shorter to longer and it's a perfect chisel. What I'm going to use next is the, the foil shaver. We're going to go over bare skin. It doesn't need any lubrication, shave cream, oils or anything. And just remember, you're doing it like this, just so you're getting an extra few days out of your beard lineup from your barber shop. So you don't have to think about perfection. That's their job, remember. You're just following the lines that they've created and making sure that it's still going to look good the weekend after. And I'm sure you'll agree, it looks a lot better than it did. Just to go over, we did the, the full jaw line, creating the shape, followed the lip line, took the fluff out, followed the lines that the barber shop had already put in, used our comb to protect any hair that we didn't want to take out and lined them up using the foils. The last part of the process is just a little bit of moisturiser just to make sure that if there was any irritation that it's going to stop that. Thanks again guys for watching. Thank you to Mark for letting us do this. If you want to know more, pop a comment on, subscribe and have a look at our other videos.